So I just did something that uh, worked so well, I think I have to share it. I just got a hole in this pipe that this fits in. Now it's like a little bit over a three quarter inch hole and I don't have any hole saws that size so I used this spade bit. Now the problem with spade bits is that the little pointy end has to be into something but as soon as you get, you know, up to there, the pointy end isn't in anything and there's nothing to keep the bit centered so it goes all over the place. So, I took a piece of wood and ground it down until it just barely fits inside the pipe and just jammed it in there so that the drill stayed in the wood. So, uh, I'm going to do that to this one now. Now that's so those two go in there and up on the top here there's a pair of ball bearings and a pipe. Now I haven't mentioned that I keep putting uh, ball bearings inside pipes but I don't have the right size pipes so I have to take a smaller pipe, cut it and weld a piece in there and I guess I can show you how to do that. First I have to make this fit into there so I'm cutting it and this is so ghetto but it'll work just with my little snippers cutting chunks out like this until I get it to fit. So yeah that's gonna fit in there when I actually get it right. So there it is, and most engineers will tell you that eyeballing something like that is impossible. But check it out. There's that welded on the top. And the other end is stuck in there so it can move. Okay, so as I was saying yesterday, I'm gonna make one of these now. So here's my piece of pipe, and I already cut it with the, uh, this thing. Um, now I have to expand it out so I can fit these ball bearings inside there. Oh, get in there. Anyway. They f now I have to measure a piece to put in here. And here it is clamped with a little line on it. And I'm going to attack it with my little droop thing. So I'll do that without a camera so I don't hurt me. Yeah, that's hot. So I can go wash it and weld it. Okay, now it's ready to weld. I put a little clampy thing on there to hold it closed. And I put a rod through to make sure the ball bearings are lined up. Now when I weld it, the metal is going to heat up uh, and expand a little bit. But then when it contracts, it's going to clamp real tight on the ball bearings and it'll be hard to move. And I like that because I don't want the ball bearings falling. And yes, clampy thingy is the technical name. And there it is. Doesn't it look great? Oh, there's the other side. Yeah, not so pretty. I kind of had the welder on a little too hot at first and it was melting holes. Anyway, it'll work. Here's one of those done and... 
It's even kind of straight. By straight, I mean uh, perpendicular at the top. So a little earlier, I took inventory of how much aluminum I had, and I don't really have enough yet. Um, and if anyone has a, some that I could get for free, that would be really awesome. Or even for cheap. And I'm talking like aluminum pipes or old street signs or, you know, anything made out of aluminum like that. Uh, I'd love to take it off your hands. Anyone in the Tampa area or uh, Vermont? Or I'll be driving all the way up the East Coast pretty soon, actually. Anyway, uh, thanks.